Stop taking life advice, money advice, and health advice from hurt people. Be careful of what energy you consume. Everything ain't for you or about you. Today, I cover demon energy or what a lot of people call on social media, toxic energy. But before we can know where we're headed, we gotta find some kind of understanding where it all started. See, social media had humble beginnings. The phenomenon is less than 20 years old. MySpace was the first large scale social media to reach 1 million users in 2004. connected people and allowed them to share photos. But fast forward to 2019 and Facebook has reached 2.4 billion users, while YouTube has over 1 billion. See the social media giants do a whole host of things. Facebook is preparing its own news service, Google is working on automated cars, and TikTok with its short video format is particularly popular among young people and was gaining an average of 20 million users per month between 2016 and 2018. But it's likely to expand and offer other services in the future. It's fair to say that the world has become obsessed with social media. And what's interesting is how much the social media landscape has changed since it started. See, MySpace, once the front runner has gone, Twitter, with its microblogging format, didn't use to allow videos. But all the indicators show that the best performing content on this platform today includes video and visuals. So what makes social media toxic? See, toxic people are hurt people. They want you to hurt like they hurt. Toxic people live in puddles of pain. See, the more pain that they see, the more pain they inflict on others, it makes their world more of a reality. Now, demon energy devalues life within itself. If you wake up to negative energy, you work around negative energy, you have friends with negative energy, your outlooks on life become part of that negative energy. For example, if you woke up and you seen on social media a rapper getting shot or killed or even an artist stating a political view that goes against what you deem or know to be right or wrong, if that upset you or changed your mood to a more defensive or anxious mood, that's toxic energy. Your mindset either accepts or neglects it. Very harmful to good people, accepted by toxic people. Now demon energy is when you take negative energy to fight negative energy. Now you become what you once hated, the birth of a demon. Fighting negative energy with good energy, you heal from it and the karma shift is real, believe it or not. The increase in social media use over the last decade has, of course, corresponded to the huge spike in the amount of time that people spend online. Young people are at the heart of this trend. The time young people spend online has doubled in compared to 10 years earlier, and it's between two and three and a half hours every day. And what it means is young people are increasingly living their lives online. It means they are connecting with friends or family or finding information online. But they're also subjected to bullying or rumor spreading and getting unrealistic views of others' lives. Studies show that young people saw as much negative as they did positive about social media. But if social media is seen as neither positive nor negative, what is true is that it leaves people fighting for views, claps, likes, or praise. That affects both the younger and the older generations. The constant search for recognition and attention can have detrimental effects on our lives and leave us hurt or needed for more attention. 